Here's an app that could replace the Webflow embed in some cases. This app lets us write CSS or JavaScript. The Webflow embed works more like a plain text editor, while this one works more like a code editor. From here, it recommends the different class names in our Webflow project. I can't tell you the number of times I had to close the embed to go find a class name. If I type in opening bracket, it automatically creates the closing one, puts my cursor in the right place, and it'll also recommend our different variable names here. It'll also recommend any CSS property names and CSS property values like so. And if I hit Command S, it'll save and auto format, making sure everything looks good. It puts this inside a style tag and stores all the CSS in here. We could move this to an embed if we'd like, but it works fine inside here as well. And also if we go ahead and head to a new element, maybe we need to go find something in our project, we can still continue writing any code here. And if I save, Notice it's still applying this code to that style tag that we selected last. We can also click on any other style tag to open a new one. It'll save the previous one and open this next style tag here, and we can continue editing this here. We can also do the same thing with JavaScript. So in here, it'll recommend all of the JavaScript related things like document.querySelector, and it'll also recommend our different class names like so. And one thing to keep in mind though, is Webflow does sanitize the text content here. So what that means is it replaces the and sign with this amp, it replaces double quotes or single quotes, it also replaces greater than or less than signs. So this is less of a problem in CSS, but it can be problematic in JavaScript. So often I'll just use this for formatting and then copy it over into a regular embed when I'm finished. But I really hope Webflow, if you're watching this, that at least for script and style tags, we could have non-sanitized versions of this, which would be really nice. Or just let us create Webflow apps that update the content of a traditional embed, because then this could just plug into that. Now the app is also pretty customizable. So if we change maybe the width here or the height of the app, that's being saved in local storage. So even if we close Webflow and come back to this app later, it'll remember the last settings that we had. Also, we can check uh, to turn line wrapping on or off. So this is whether or not we want the horizontal scroll. And I thought about adding other options to this, like customizing the color theme of the code, the font size, and things like that. But we'll see where it goes. I was inspired by the SAS Webflow app, which allows us to write SAS and CSS for Webflow. I wanted a drastically different UX, though, and something that could work with JavaScript. This is a really cool app, though, and I'd highly encourage you to check it out. My code block app isn't on the Webflow app marketplace. I'm still deciding if I'm going to submit it, but it's definitely something I'm using for my own projects. If you'd like to add this, I'll leave a link to the zip file in the description below. Head over to the integrations tab and hit create app. Go ahead and name the app, give it any kind of title, and go ahead and upload an app icon for it. And the URL is required. This can be any URL though. I'll go ahead and add something in here. And we can go ahead and hit continue. We'll need to mark this as a designer extension and we'll go ahead and create. And from there, we'll just hit publish and we'll upload the actual zip file that I'll leave linked below. We can give it any kind of description here and hit upload. And now the app can be used anywhere on your workspace. Just hit install and choose the sites or the entire workspace that you'd like to install this on. Inside the zip file, there's a CSS file and right up at the top is a bunch of color variables. So we could customize the colors used for the code editor. And if we open up the JavaScript file, we can customize any of the functionality. So that's how to use the code block editor for Webflow.